Hi, I'm Edward Johns and I'm the director of the Robot Learning Lab at Imperial College London. It's the end of 2022 and so I've decided to create a little summary of what we've been up to this year. So, we've continued to study one-shot imitation learning and we now have a method called DOME that enables a human to teach a robot a new task from just a single human demonstration which can then be deployed immediately after the demonstration without requiring any further data collection or training. Now, let's say a robot knows how to pick up objects, but how would it know where to place those objects? Well, we developed a system called DaliBot, which uses recent web scale image diffusion models to convert a list of object names into an image depicting a human-like arrangement of those objects, which our robot can then use to rearrange a scene, such as setting a dining table or tidying a desk. And what about if a robot learns skills in simple environments, but we want to deploy them in much more complex, cluttered environments? Well, we've designed a method to do this, which predicts where to initialize a robot such that if a skill is executed from there, it can successfully perform the task without colliding with obstacles. We've also studied multitask learning, such as simultaneously predicting segmentation, depth and normals in an image, or a robot learning several tasks with a single network. And here we showed that the task weightings in the objective function can be automatically tuned during training. On the topic of multitask learning, we've also been exploring how a neural field, trained originally as a 3D representation of a scene, can also then be exploited to propagate labels for other tasks, such as predicting material properties or predicting the required force to push an object. And finally, again exploring this idea of efficiently propagating sparse labels, we developed an approach for semantic segmentation based on contrastive learning of features and an active sampling strategy which enables learning to focus on the most challenging pixels. Well, that's what we've been up to this year. Thanks for watching and feel free to check in on us to see what we get up to over the next few months. Bye for now. <laughs>